Hello YouTube, this is PC Windows Online. Um, the news watch well, just come in now. Um, Apple released its new I um, SO, which is 4.3.4. And also, um, as soon as it came out, a jailbreak came out for it. Now, I'll just explain what a jailbreak uh, is. So, when you get an iPhone or an iPod Touch, um, you get the Apple Store and all that, all the um, applications you can go into the App Store and and download your watch you want. You can have free ones, you can have ones that you can pay for. Now a jailbroken iPod has um it puts an application on there called Cydia and Cydia will download um illegal um stuff to it so um them apps you would have to pay for um in the app store with Cydia you don't have to pay for it, it just comes and hackers do it. Um, you can also have Flash, I think, um, on Cydia, um, put it on your um, iPod or iPhone. So, what I want to talk about today is, uh, um, jailbroken is also illegal. If you take, if you took it to the App Store, they would not fix it for you because you've already put the jailbreak on it. Um, so when you even put jailbroken, jailbroken things on there. Um, the ones who will run out straight away. So I would not recommend doing it, and it's not that good to be honest with you. Um, just pay for the apps which people want to develop for you. Um, so um, it actually offers a step-by-step -step guide um, how to jailbreak it with um, a tool which you put on your computer, and then you have to restart your um, iPod or iPhone. Um, is it actually designed for the iPhone, iPod, iPad, it's actually for the iPad as well, and iPod Touch users, which, um, um, I just think Apple has not tried, obviously, enough to try and fix this yet. Um, we tried quite a lot of things, but then the hackers have got through and, and done it again. Also, this proves that Apple hasn't fixed that problem yet. They need to put a big security, um, Thing in place in their next iOS, and um, I'm going to be honest with you, they need to put a security thing where they cannot put a jailbroken iPod there. And um, what they need to do is like disable the iPod, say, "Oh, you jailbroken your iPod." Or send if they can see they've got Cydia on the actual um, iPod, they can send it through the internet to Apple, and Apple can see that they've got Cydia on there, or it's the jailbroken iPod, and say, "Oh no, you're not allowed to use this anymore." And send a letter through the post saying um, why have you done this? Please take it off your iPod. And I think that's a better idea. Um, we need to track what the users of the iPod that are doing it on iPad or iPhone, or see what they're doing on it. Um, but that would be an infringement of um, obviously uh, human rights. But oh, they need to put a security in there, so it is harder to put. Um, a jailbroken um, to jailbreak your iPod or iPad. Um, I thought it was never going to happen to an iPad. I thought there was a security thing there where it was more secure, but obviously it's not. Also, with um, a jailbroken iPod or iPad or iPhone, um, there's obviously um, um, security and virus what it gets through um, and adware. Um, so, I really don't recommend you doing this. And also, people have spent ages I and mean, quite a long time developing them apps for you which you have to pay for um, and then you, you're getting them for free because you've jailbroken the iPod. That's my opinion. Um, some people don't have enough money to buy the apps so just jailbreak your iPod. Um, send me your um, co um, comments below uh, see what you think about it. Um, you know my opinion, I think you should just buy the apps if you want them. Most of the apps are free on the App Store anyway. Um, and that's about it. Uh, this has been PC Windows on Life. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I've got loads of links to every page on my website, um, which is PC Windows Online and um, PC Windows Online And um, that'll be in my channel. If you want to go check that out, there's loads of links there to Twitter and stuff. Um, so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you later.